sorry. What's up? You want to have a scratch? There you go. There you go. How's that? Is that a good scratch? Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. Alright, I'll feed you in a minute. Another scratch? No, 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 you can't jump on me. I'm going to go and get your food. Alright, I'll get your food too. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to go again with these Sergeant Metallics. I've had a few practices with them. I did some of my cards and I did a uh, few of the rounds. So, But I'm going to go with a, a bigger canvas today. The 30 centimetre by 60 centimetre. I love this size, my favourite. And that's a 12 by 24 inch. So I'll show you the one that I'm going to try and recreate today. Uh, I probably can't because you guys know it's really hard to recreate something. But, well that's it there. Not, don't look at the flowers though, but look at the background. See how I've got that really thick covering of the silver and the gold over in the corner? So that's hopefully what I'm going to try and recreate. This was initially going to be a diagonal pool and then I loved it so much I just ended up doing a, a flip and, and drag. But I'm going to try again today, see how we go. I'll put it over here and then I'll let me show you at the end how I've gone. Righto. So 60% glue, 40% water for my pouring medium today. And I've just got three colours. I've got black, gold and silver. I'll mix them up um, and I'll flip them over and then I'll tell you about what the colours are in a, in a minute, what the brands are. So I'm going to go with the treadmill silicone as usual, spot on. I do prefer this. When I started pouring I used the coconut milk hair serum. Um, but I I sort of changed from that pretty quickly. It, um, it's, it is very strong but um, it sort of... Because it's thick, it makes the cells kind of wobbly and misshapen, whereas this stuff's really quite thin, so it doesn't tend to make the cells go all funny out of shape. Uh, the amount of paint I have got, uh, about 140 grams of pouring medium to 140 grams of paint. So all up, I've got about 800 grams of mixed paint, which is 26 ounces. And I'm going to go 12 drops of oil in the metallics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I'm not going to do any in the black. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. There we go. I think that'll be plenty. Now this is a big cup so I need to get the oil all the way down to the bottom of the cup. Give it a good stir. I don't want any blobs of oil left in there that are going to stretch out and become worms. So give it a good mix up. Today's Sunday morning and I was just watching this morning Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. I was watching her live auction. Hey Karen! <laughs> Even though it was Saturday afternoon there, it was early Sunday morning here. I missed the beginning of it because I forgot all about it. I had to be sitting down at 6 o'clock on a Sunday morning ready for it and I think I got there about seven <laughs> no quarter to seven after i was feeding the dogs i sat down i thought oh the video's on i must watch um but anyway that got me thinking um uh, because i have got a heap of these cards that i use and because most of the people that buy my paintings are over in the states and overseas i thought maybe you guys would like to buy some of my cards I've got I've got so many of them. So that's it's just these these cards. Um, I've got you know I've got a hundred. 
that I've practiced on, more than 100, probably 200, um, over the years. And uh, they would be, I think, pretty easy and cheap to ship, just flat. So I'm thinking maybe I will sell those because to sell a canvas over to the States, like it costs $50 just to post it. So it makes it a little bit, you know, not so affordable because you're paying for so much postage. But those, I will get a price and um, maybe we can sell some of those, hey? And you guys can have a little piece of art from, from me if you want some. Um, you can laminate them, you can frame them whatever you want to do with them. So anyway, that's just a thought. Let me know what you think. And I'll go to the post office during the week and, and get a price on what it would cost to send something like that over to the States. And what I'll do is when I sell them, I'll just include shipping in the overall price so you know exactly what you're up for. So I'll do that and let you know. right -o. so I'm going to pour these down the side. I'm just going to change it up a little bit. Do these two with the silver first. I don't know if it'll make any difference, but I'll just try it. And then I need a little bit of black, just a little bit in between each metallic because a silver metallic on a gold metallic is not going to produce nice cells. You won't even see them really. They'll just be little blobs of colour. You won't have that nice defined ring that you get from having a light colour next to a dark colour. So that's what I'm going to do. Put a little bit of black between. So putting a good dollop of the... Oops, wrong one. Oh! Ah! I'm talking too much. I'm messed up. That wasn't supposed to have gold in it. Doesn't matter. Stop talking, Julie, and concentrate on what you're doing, woman. Uh, what was I saying? I can't even remember now. All right, so, oh, the don't have your two light colours next to two dark colours. Now I'm in trouble, aren't I? Because these have all got gold in them. And these two were supposed to have the silver. Um, oh, I'm just going to have to go silver again. There we go. And then back to the black again. Oops. I think that might be about it for the black. Let's pop a little bit on the corners, eh? Little safeguard. some finger painting, rub that in. Should be using my tool really, but there's not much paint here. There's just a little dollop for each corner. You can go behind the tripod, pop that on there. So I'm going to do a flip and drag, five cups as you can see, and then I'll tilt to cover half the canvas, and then I will torch and cover the other half. I really like doing it that way, I've been doing it for a little while now, and I prefer that way. Um, find that my cells aren't getting too overstretched by torching first thing and then you know tilting one way tilting the next way and your poor little cells are getting stretched this way and that so I find that it's just it's been working well so I'll stick to it now metallics do act differently so and not so easy to use. You have to really have a practice with the colours you're going to use, your brand, I should say, that you're going to use because they're all different. Some of them you'll have to mix up a lot thicker. The paints I'm using today 
Um, I've only had to mix them one to one ratio. But when I'm using my global paints, I have to mix them almost two to one ratio because they're when you pour them out, they just act so differently. They're really thin. And yet in the jar, they feel really thick, whereas these ones I'm using today are opposite. You pour them out of the bottle and it's like pouring thin cream. They're quite thin. Right, oh, let's see how we go with the gold. I'm not going to have very much of the gold left. This middle one's going to have a lot of silver in it, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Just finish these two off with some gold. Actually, I should leave just a tiny bit in there in case I need it. You never know when you might need it. Right, oh, let's flip these babies over. cells pretty pretty right so the first one I like to get really close to the side because I don't want to have to pour anything up the side because then I get that stripe which when you tilt bends in so I don't like that so I get it right up next to the side there right so my colors today are the black is my global and then the silver is the sergeant's liquid metal metallic silver that's it there and the gold is its matching cousin <laughs> sergeant's acrylic metallic paint that's it there and these two well they're two liter bottles i got them from amazon prime and if you're a member of prime you get free shipping uh, i'll just show you the little containers these are the little ones. You can buy these in Australia. Just search Sargents. I can't remember the name of the company, but there, there are some in Australia that you can, you can get these little guys from. But it just works out more cost effective to, for me to get the big bottles. And then, as I said, Amazon Prime free shipping, which is great. You have to um, type in, though, Prime. Otherwise, if you're just in the normal Amazon site, it won't come up as free shipping. You have to be in Prime. Right, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> my side's covered. That emptied easily, didn't it? You're not supposed to sell up just yet. I was going to tilt first. See, that one went too fast, and so I've tried to slow down, and now I've gone the opposite way. Too slow. No! Oh no, I've lost some of it off the side. Come back. Dear, oh dear. It's okay. I was trying to get you know, close to the side and they got too close to the side. So these cups are all pretty much empty. Uh, I did spray them with some silicone oil so that um, they will release easily and that they did. Wow, look at those cells. You guys aren't supposed to come up yet. All right, I'm going to tilt this way first and get some of this covered. Round you go. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed I've lost all of that. Stop dripping off the side. Look at that. I've got cells on there. I'm just going to pop some up here. No, but see now it's all overstretched. It's you, you're best not to. You really are. It's best just to leave it. Okay. Um, back and forth, back and forth, zigzag down and... I'm going to need my corner catcher because I don't want to lose any more from the side. Where have I put you? Here, just my little cardboard corner catcher that I made. I might not need that one yet. I might just need my stick because I don't want to lose the side, but I do want to get to the corners, so maybe the stick will work better. 
I'm losing a lot of paint over that edge already, but I need to get these little edges here covered, these little triangles. So make sure you've got enough paint on your surface that you know it's it's okay to lose some over there while you're trying to cover your little triangular areas. So this is where you need that extra little tiny bit of plain gold maybe. Don't put messy looking paint in there, just you're better off just putting a little bit of plain gold or plain black, something that's going to match nicely rather than um, some muddy paint. You really are, just, just do that instead. I don't mind if it just stays like that because I really don't want to lose too much more. What's going over in this corner here? What are you doing? You're making a bit of a weird shape. That's okay. That's that's right. This is looking really good, but I almost don't even need to torch it. My goodness. Um, I really don't want to lose much more maybe just a little bit on that corner because I don't really like that corner so much it had that little blobby bit on it all right so as I was going for that corner these these went over all right now this is the nerve-wracking part you guys because I've still got all this to cover and my cells are already starting to stretch out so this is where you pop on a little bit of extra paint. I did make up about, as I said, 800 grams of mixed paint for this pour. Sometimes I do 700, sometimes I do 800, but I thought I'll just do 800 for this. Because it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of extra paint if you're not torching up front you're tilting first and then torching you can get away with having a little bit more paint on a tiny little bit of black there and I'm just gonna pop a few drops of water in it just to thin it down it's like a teaspoon in there that's all there's left in there I'll scrape the sides I don't want to put muddy paint back in here you're better off if you haven't got any paint left, you're better off stopping, mixing up some more paint and uh, adding that on. Oh, go away, fly. The fly's still in here. So what you're trying to achieve here is have maybe hopefully the same amount of space all the way along that needs covering that's what your aim is. This is looking a little bit on the, the thicker side. See, the paint that you put back in really needs to be thinner. These bits that always needs to be a little bit thinner so that these areas can flow over the top. And I didn't actually thin my gold out. I just poured it on. So just pop it there. A little bit of the thinner one over the top see if I can stretch it out a little bit more same with this one put a little bit of that thinner paint in the top see if I can stretch it out a bit okay that's about all I can do at this stage go away for I don't sit in my painting Swat you. Where's my swatter? 
Okay. Um, I should torch, shouldn't I? Like, I haven't even torched. This paint must be so reactive. I don't even know if I want a torch. A little bit. Just a little bit. Because these cells may really stretch out. Oh, wow. It's really reactive. I don't want to over torch. even touching it like a millisecond of torch on the surface just to bring up some little cells and then I can hopefully stretch those a bit as I try and get over to the other side but I lost so much off the side there lost almost half a cup off the side should be able to it's just these you can see the cells at the top there they're stretching already but there's nothing I can do about that I have to take the paint all the way down to the other side and I don't want to go over the edge yet I want my I don't want to go over this side too much yet I want to get the corners covered first before I take the paint over there so a corner and done that corner can stay black it's okay for it to do that. Now bring the weight of the paint back. I'm just going to turn it around. Take my hands over so I don't drip through the middle. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Right, now the weight of the paint is still here. So there's a lot of cells here. Not much there. So I need to take that paint down a little bit. Did you see that fly? It just flew in front of the camera. <laughs> so I'm just stretching everything back a little bit. Checking my composition. Don't want to lose any more paint. What do you think? It's so pretty. The gold, it looks as if it's glowing. Like it looks as if it's on fire. Get out of there. Did you see that? He nearly landed on my painting. Where are you? Got my swatter. Come back here and be swatted. I can hear him. I can't see him. Oh. I do have these huge big food nets that I put over my paintings. My really beautiful ones that I want to keep. I'll get a big um, net and put them over. Right, let's look at these cells. I'm just so amazed that I got all these cells up from just dragging the paint. Loving these colours though, so beautiful. Look at these gold rings. And I like that I've just got a few little ones popping up. I didn't over torch because I had plenty of cells to begin with. Now I'm just going to go around and make sure that all my edges are covered. This is while I put some of that black on the corners, hey, because I haven't managed to get over, totally over these little black corners. And also the other thing that I've noticed is the good thing with having the black on the corners is when you have, look at the light, when you have cells over the corners, look at this, see how the cells that have gone over the corners are all wobbly? But over here, because the cells haven't gone over the corners, it's kind of stayed, like the cells have stayed really pretty and round. You can see the difference. So, yeah, I don't mind having the different colour on the corners. I'm just going to check this corner over here. Yep, it's looking good. Looking good. I'm happy with that, you guys. Do you like it? Now, my little tool here, and if I hadn't have dropped so much paint off the side, I think I would have had a, a better result, but hey, sometimes these things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it, you just go with it. You know, sometimes you flip a cup, a cup and it only comes to here, 
and then you have to fill that in and sometimes you flip a cup and it goes over the edge and it's just it's just how it is and just make the best of what you've got really I always have a little bit of extra paint left to fill in those white triangles if you can I don't think I should do anything else to it. Stack my cups up. That was fun. I enjoyed that pour. It's always good when it's always more enjoyable when you have a good pour, isn't it? All right, let me get my gloves off. Take it down for a close up. What are you doing, Bronte girl? That little Bronte down here today with me. It looks dark when I look at it through the screen here okay so I do prefer the big cells that appeared on their own I'm so amazed that they appear just on their own look at those cells the gold around them around the black All right, start up here so we've got some beautiful gold in the corner. Actually, let me move if I can. I'm just going to move this over because that paint on the side can be a little bit distracting, can't it? I had someone say to me, can't you put a painting on a clean puppy pad before you show us? Because the blobs are distracting and... I guess they are a little bit because you can't see where the edge of the canvas is. There we go. Now you can see where the edge of the canvas is against the puppy petal pad. Right, oh, here we go. Let's walk up. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like that background. Now, has it made a difference, do you think? Me pouring in the silver first into a, two of the cups and pouring the gold in first on the other three cups. Let's have a look and see which ones. Hmm, I don't know. See, the two outer ones and the middle one had the gold in first, and then the two either side of the middle gold had the silver in first so I guess those two have got more silver in them so maybe that has made a bit so there she is hope you've enjoyed that video and uh, like I said if you want to try these Sargent's metallic globe um, paints yeah they're um if you're in Australia just grab them from Amazon Prime from the States Obviously, you're in the States, you can get them nice and easily. <laughs> it's much harder for us down under here to get things that you guys can get. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.